such a wonderful Ooh. front yard. I have to give a big shout out to Dave, Dave. Lowe. He is our prop yes. master, art director. I agree. Extraordinary. He and his team converted this house in a single night. Know, we came in here. Night. We left. It was normal. We came back and it was ghoulish. It was so well, as you, as we've done the projects along the way here too to fill out the front yard. He's always there to Tanya help all there of us too. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The you know thing. we um, and also can we take it just a pee? Oh, yeah, there it is. One of my boys came in and ah! witchy poo slamming <laughs> into that. the side of the house. There's some really <laughs> wonderful DIYs that we've had with the. Frankenstein yeah. out of uh, Mark and Tanya. Stein. Tanya, you did the uh, tree, right? I the did the ghoulish tree. tree. Uh, I did, tree. yes. Of One course, of my inspired Spanish by did Dave this Lowe. Wonderful railing up front. Mm -hmm. It's just anyway. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey getting here to Halloween. Yes. yes. It's been now fun. we need a place to keep our spiders. We have a spider. Yeah. The best place to keep your spiders besides on your fingernails or on your finger, <laughs> which I have right here, Ooh. are in jars. Okay, so. Tanya Meme has created the spookiest Halloween home for them, and your kids are going to love them. They glow, but they don't bite. They right? don't bite. Okay. No. Because they can't get into the jars. Okay. Oh. Um, can't get out yes. of jars. <laughs> Okay. What, what created that? What inspired you to create Well, this? what inspired me is I saw, should I do it in ginger? Yes. Yeah. See, I, I saw these, these, spite these jars on the internet, <laughs> and they were you fairy jars. They were fairy jars. They were on the island. They, they were on the island. They were on the island. island. I dug and dug and I moved. Yes. Ginger. They called you ginger. They said ginger go to four. Ginger go to four. Go to four. So they have these, I've seen these fairy jars or glow in the dark fairy jars, and what inspired me was Halloween, of course, and I wanted to make them spookier and, and crazier and just more 3D-like, which is what the webbing does. I'll get into details as we go along. Super easy to make, and you can make them at home, too, and have fun with your kids while you're doing it. All right. All right. We have a video of you doing just that. Yes, we so do. let's take a look, <laughs> shall we? This is Ava's reaction. Are you ready to for a spooky surprise? <laughs> yeah? Okay, there's something spooky in the bathroom for you. Go check it out. Is it spooky? Uh -huh. What's in it? Piders. <laughs> piders? Is well, that what she said? Piders. Piders. She has a problem with her S's. Oh, it's got to be so much fun being your child. <laughs> you know? We do have yeah. a lot of fun. I we bet. do have fun. We're always creating things, know. as what you do know. We, what do we need to create this? Okay, so all you need is glow in the dark paint. Mm -hmm. Okay, some gloves. Some, I chose glow in the dark spider webbing. You don't have to have glow in the dark spider webbing, but we do need the webbing. We need our glow sticks. Of course, our spiders, pair of scissors, and just one of these little spongy things to mess around with and the paint. And our ever-present glue gun. Yes. And the <laughs> glue gun. I don't go anywhere without my glue gun. Yes. Okay. So the first step is you're going to take your glow-in-the-dark paint. Mm-hmm. Okay. They had that on the island there with Gelligan. Yeah. They, they did. did. Yes, yes, they did. Too. Who knew? <laughs> Didn't they? It yeah. was all there. It floated up on the island when the ship went down. Well, the Thurston the, the, the actually Jason. gave it to me. Thurston did? Oh. oh. Well, and you the know, they packed a lot the, for that trip, apparently, they sure in a three-hour tour. <laughs> they had a lot of clothes on Ginger, that you get around. The professor and uh, <gasps> Thurston? Well, helped? you know, nobody ever did know my secrets. We all wondered, but we never found out. Okay, so you just put globs and globs of paint at the bottom. Okay, and then you're gonna take your little spongy thing and you just sort of whisk it up. Now, don't go all the way up. What I wanna do is sort of coat the jar, very uneven, just to sort of make it look ghoulish and yeah, creepy. Scary and creepy. Yeah. And, okay, and then, well, you could put on a glove, but you know what, let's not on this point. And then I just, you literally get your nails in there. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and kind of like scratch your way up the jar just like that. Then you have glow in the jar, uh, glow in the jar, Go glow in the dark nails. Nails. I had glow in the dark everything when I was <laughs> making this. It was all over the floor and everything. No special so, like primer for it. It'll stick to that. It'll stick to the glass. It sticks. Okay. So it'll dry you put it there, aside. Right? Okay. You put this aside. Mm -hmm. And let then you let it dry. It takes a few hours to dry. And presto. Voila. Okay. The then next step, we're gonna glue in our spiders. Spideys. And you just kind of want to glue them in anywhere on the inside, so just doesn't this have to make any sense. This is where little hands would come in, you know, yeah. helpful. Well, well the do, glue gun is too Yeah, you want to be them. careful with yeah. the glue gun. No, I just meant if you had, like, a wife with small hands. A then, what? You know, <laughs> that she could help you. Are you making yes. reference to my hands, Gomez? No, I would you never. Shall you shall never You have gorgeous again. hands. Mm. Okay, so literally you just take the spiders and you continue to put the spiders on the inside of the walls of the jar, and you keep on doing it to your liking, and then we have... This spider one, jar. presto, spider yeah. jar. Spider, spider. Now the next step is where all the magic begins, okay? This is where I had to go to the professor to get the right directions. <laughs> okay, 
for green, like though, yes. for green cotton, for green spider webs. Now you just want to cut a little piece off. Don't go too crazy with it. That doesn't okay. look like much. Well, it oh, will in a moment. Wait till I'm done with it. Oh, it's oh. like cotton candy. Yeah, Why right. is it that when we're in character we use English accents? Like, <laughs> I don't. It just happens. And I don't even have one. Okay. Watch so, this. Cream puff. I'm going to put a glob. Uh, cream, cream puff. puff. Cream mm. puff. Mm. Sell. See, it's a croissant. A croissant. Wait a minute. Say baguette. Baguette. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting a big glob of glue at the bottom of the jar and then just dabbing some around the uh, the inside of the the walls of the jar then you take your spider webs in a little bunch and you kind of just get it right on in there and oh, then sort of that's stirring how it, works. it up. I love that. Now what yeah, what this does, it kind of creates like a 3D effect inside the jar, which is really totally cool. creepy. I'm loving this. So you're sort of stretching yeah, the spider webbing. And again, it does not have to be perfect. Okay, then we're gonna stretch it. Nice. See What's how this it sticking is? to, Tanya? Is the it the oh. is it the glue, the 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 glitter, the paint, or the? It's sticking to the glue because I just yeah. put some globs some of more glue, glue inside. Glue? Okay. Yeah, with the glue gun while you guys were oh, wait, doing wait, your thing. Oh, oh, while we were doing oh, it. One more oh, time. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Now you just want to make sure that it all fits nice, that the lid fits on nice. Now the next step is where it all happens as well. Who would like to do the cracking? Let's open up a new one. Let's open up a new I one. love to crack. We want it to be fresh. Okay. So the next step is you're going to take a glow stick, okay? Can I crack? Can I crack? You can crack. I it's like me when, when, I, okay. two when I crack your toes at night. Go oh, past. it's a wonderful. <laughs> All right. Oh. And we're going to put on some gloves because there's a teeny tiny little piece of glass inside the glow sticks. Oh, the thank you for itself, telling me. <laughs> right. No, well, you haven't opened it yet. I'm oh. going to be doing that. Oh. Oh. Yes, we haven't opened it yet. It's, it's not harmful yet. Oh. And then the, but the inside of the glow sticks is completely harmless. There's okay. just a piece of glass, so you just want to keep your hands right. okay. safe. Okay. Good Wait, job. Should Morticia stand behind me? So we're gonna cut. For no, I, I shall protect you. Okay. One side. It's gonna start oozing out. Check this out. You got the glow goopy stuff already. This side. Whoa. Look at oh. that. And you just kind of go crazy with it around the jar. Okay. And just splatter it. Now I like to do two or three glow sticks just to really get that glow going. How, wow. long is it gonna last? On? How long will this last? This will last a few hours. Um, this stuck. is great for a Halloween party, tablescape outside your front door for trick or treaters. And it's also just fun for kids to look at and you can put them anywhere in your house. Anything that glows in the dark, the kids love. It's so cool. How, uh, how much are we talking here money wise? Because I'm not, it doesn't I'd add up to much. I'd say between does it? like That's five fantastic. and seven dollars. Now, the reason why I put the webs in there is to create like a 3D effect. Now, it looks kind of messy. Yeah. No, it but doesn't. It looks really creepy. Fantastic. It looks cool, right? But yeah. when you see yeah. it in, in the dark, it looks we awesome. Have a, we have there, a it there it is. Awesome. Is. Check it out. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. I mean, really. Well, Ava good loved job. Them. Ginger. They look fantastic. Oh. Ginge. Yeah. Um, hey, Ginge, that's fabulous. I bet you the professor is very impressed with you. He's very These impressed. These steps are available on TanyaMemme.com or our Pinterest page. They're waiting there for you. <laughs> uh, next, when we come back, we have artist extraordinaire uh, Ali Matsum Matsumitsu, and she's going to join us via Skype and show us some great spooky Halloween Wait makeup. Wait until you see Wait it. You it's see incredible. It.